So this this is a really big wild brook trout. Oh. Slippery one. <laughs> So we raised them in the hatchery this size in about a year and a half, but this one here is probably uh, three years old, which is old for a brook trout. What's the oldest one you guys found? Uh, about four. So this one's at 307. So I'm going to hand it over to Sam. And I basically take it and make a little hole. Oh, I don't want to see the pictures. Okay. Oh, I don't want to see how much? How much? Yeah. How does it affect them? Like when you guys insert them into this stomach? Sorry. Like I, I, He's swimming around. How, how would you like to be a brook trout and have an osprey tail and go India? I mean, we've seen some fish here that. Uh, Seriously, that survived something like yeah, that? Yeah, we actually had them with the intestines coming out uh, after a bird strike. And so what I do is I put um, a little bit of alcohol in between the tags just in case there was a disease in one fish. We don't want to uh, transmit it fish to fish. But that, that little wound there, that's something the fish's natural antibodies and immune system can take care of. I mean, uh, to be a wild fish, you have to be a survivor. Okay, so we got that new tag number? Uh-huh. All right, so here's the new tag. The last eight um, did you get that first one, Lily? Yeah. Is this the new one now? That's yep. the new one. 